Are you a parent like me? Keep your fur babies least to ganado with these tips from NutriChunks. First time parent, ito ang tips ko to puppy proof your home. Make sure to remove everything that can hurt your new fur baby. Unplug electrical cords. Stow away small choking hazards and cleaning supplies. Move out poisonous houseplants too. Higit sa lahat, puppy proofing also means choosing the right food. Kailangan nila ng mas mataas na protein to grow big and strong. Kaya pakainin sila ng NutriChunks High Protein Puppy. The only one with active boost and prebiotics na pampalisto. For happy, healthy, and listo ganado fur babies, I choose NutriChunks. Hi! Are you a parent like me? Keep your fur babies listo ganado with these tips from NutriChunks. First time parent, ito ang tips ko to puppy proof your home. Make sure to remove everything that can hurt your new fur baby. Unplug electrical cords. Stow away small choking hazards and cleaning supplies. Move out poisonous houseplants too. Higit sa lahat, puppy proofing also means choosing the right food. Kailangan nila ng mas mataas na protein to grow big and strong. Kaya pakainin sila ng NutriChunks High Protein Puppy. The only one with active boost and prebiotics na pampalisto. For happy, healthy, and listo ganado fur babies, I choose NutriChunks. Hello everyone, we are live. Hi, good afternoon. Hello to our paw parents or parents and parent wannabes. And uh, welcome to hashtag Pomily Planning Episode 1. How to start a Pomily hashtag for real. Hello there. Okay, so we want you guys to make some virtual noise, which means you can comment down Anything below, you can say hello to your pets, you can say hello to your fellow parents and to your family, your friends, and you can also send positive reactions, comment yung shout out nyo, and uh, like yun na din yung ating live stream, pakipusuan na yan, and share it to your friends and your family, and also your fellow animal lovers and pet owners. I see people commenting already. Hello, everyone! And syempre, and syempre um, you have to share this to your uh, fellow pet parents as well. Kasi very interesting talaga yung topic natin today. Um, you know what? For our pet parents, here at the NutriChunks Pomily, we call them parents. So don't forget to use our official hashtags for today for our FB Live hashtag Pomily Planning hashtag for real. Okay? So this is the real deal. Okay? Don't forget to tag us as well. It is at NutriChunks Pomily. And by the way, let me introduce myself bago ko pa sabihin lahat nung, ng to. I'm Rico Garcia and I will be your host for today. I am also a parent. Um, actually, I was supposed to um, host today with our uh, with our family dog, but he's sleeping. So ayoko naman na guluhin siya. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad and honored to be part of the NutriChunks Pomily. And this is now my second time with you guys. And I remember that was last December um, when we first uh, went on Facebook Live. So hello there. And sobrang, feeling ko sobrang swerte ko kasi, you know, hindi naman ako iba sa usaping parenting at Pomily planning because I myself, like I said, is a parent. And growing up, marami kaming dogs dito sa bahay. I think... Growing up as a kid, we had two dogs, um, a Labrador and another another dog. Kasi maliit pa ako nun eh, I remember. Um, hindi ko naman rin ma maalala. But yeah, we are a dog-loving family. And uh, right now, actually, we do have a uh, four-month-old Labrador. And hindi ako na-inform that at four months old, sobrang laki na nung Labrador namin. Like, it's like a fully grown dog. Kaya super saya talaga ng family. 
And, you know, um, you know, ang saya ng pagiging uh, paw parent or parent. Tsaka masaya yung pomely namin, di ba? So, you guys can also be an official member of the pomely. Just sign up at our official website. That is www.sanmiguelpetcare.com. So, that's, again, www.sanmiguelpetcare.com. Dot com. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna flash it here on the screen. Um, and when you sign up and join the Pomely, you'll get the latest and exclusive promotions, discounts, and updates. And most importantly, actually, ito yung pinaka important because you know um, most people or most Pomelies they order um, you know their dog food in bulk. And minsan, syempre, diba, oh, first of all, you have to go out, diba? you have to f- brave the traffic, and then you have to be outside as well, which we're trying to diba, um, to lessen. And then ang init pa, and then ang mahal pa ng mga gas prices. So, if you sign up, you'll get the latest and exclusive promotions, and um, you they can actually do deliveries within Bulacan, Rizal, and Greater Metro Manila area, okay? You can also pay through cash on delivery or go cashless with your e-wallet. So, mag-order na kayo online. It's super duper convenient and malaking convenience talaga when you have your fur baby's dog food delivered right to your doorstep. So, you know, you have to consider everything. So again, check it out. It's www.sanmiguelpetcare.com. Okay? Kaya naman, if there's a will, there's a way. And in Tagalog, kung gusto, may paraan. So speaking of willingness and wants, kailangan pagplanuhan yan. So di ba nga, yung hashtag natin today, hashtag Pomely Planning. Um, actually, I see a lot of comments right now. Uh, remind ko lang kayo to make some virtual noise and share this Facebook Live session with everybody. Hello. Oh, look at look at all of you guys saying hello to your friends and your fellow paw parents. So welcome again to our first episode. So para sa mga gustong maging parents or nagbabalak magkaroon ng pets or parent wannabes, pwede rin naman yung newbie parent or even to those long-time and experienced parents ng big happy pomelies. Maganda yung topic natin today, okay? It is how to start a pomely hashtag for real, okay? So isang malaking katanungan na naman, nga naman talaga ito. It's really... Um, it's more of facing the realities and responsibilities ng parenthood because I feel like it's not just a commitment physically, it's also a commitment, you know, financially, emotionally, you have to be there for your pets. You know, they can't just be like, nandiyan lang, tas hindi mo napapansinin, di ba? You have to give them time and attention and of course, their needs. So for today's discussion, we'll be talking about three major points, okay? I hope you guys are still with me kasi very interesting siya and marirealize niya talaga if it's really the right time to start a pomely, okay? So first is giving, the next is choosing, and then the third one is taking. So we will have our resident veterinarian, Doc Furzresho, discuss our first point, which is giving. And then to help us assess our capacity and capability in being good providers. In other words, you know, yung kahandaan mong magbigay or magprovide, Doc Furz will also help us in choosing. Okay? So choosing what kind of dog food, yung babagi sa pomeli nyo. The siyempre, kasama na din si Doc Andy, which, who, who also joined us the last time, our infectious disease expert, to guide us about certain considerations on how to maintain a clean and safe home for the whole family, which is such a big thing that you have to think about as well. Kasi, I, ne- I mean, like, I had my first dog when I was in high school, and I never really thought about Yung parang cleaning up after them. Kasi syempre, bata pa ako nun eh. And then, ma-realize mo talaga na parang it's such a big responsibility. Especially when I took my dog with me to my own place, to my own apartment. And then, syempre, kailangan mo iset up kung saan ba siya. You know, 
P and and other stuff. So yeah, I have so many questions for Doc Andy as well later. Speaking of questions, if you do have questions later on during their talk, um, you can just comment them down below. Okay. Lastly, we'll have our guest poet. Ayun, narinig na yung tahol ng aso namin. <laughs> uh, we will have our guest poet, Miss Bernie Alfonso. Super exciting. Um, she will share her experience on having a dog, taking uh, the takings or benefits of having a fur baby. So, in short, jam packed yung discussion na to. And I'm ex- so and I'm so excited sa ating QA portion. Like I told you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Just type it down. And then our team at the Nutri Chunks Pomely will compile them for you. Okay. Eh, nagingay na yung dog namin. Kasi I think sabi nga, wag ko na daw patagalin pa. Okay. <laughs> Let us all watch and learn from our resident veterinarian, Doc Ferds Resho. Hello, Porians! I'm Doc Ferds Resho, and welcome to another NutriChunks Pomili FB Live Session. It's been a while since huli tayo nakita. Ang bilis ng panahon. And if you can remember, it's been two years since we had this pandemic. Ang daming nangyari. And because of that, I want to congratulate you and everybody for being so resilient during these challenging moments. And during the community quarantine, most of us had to stay home Yung iba, naging work from home ang setup. Others discovered a new interest or hobby. Naging plantita, nag-start ng online business, naging YouTuber, vlogger, while others started through community pantry. Many also took this time to settle down and had their intimate wedding. Bottom line is that the pandemic did not just made us more resilient, but it also made us more conscious and aware. We had the time to retreat, reflect, and refocus on what really matters the most. Of course, our family. And speaking of family, we also owe it to our pets. Maliban sa memes at TikTok videos ng cute pets, madami yung nagkaroon ng interest to have a pet in their family. And mind you, being an animal lover, pet owner, is different from being a pet parent, or as we call it here sa NutriChunks family, parent. This is a huge responsibility. How to start a family for real? So, paano nga ba? Keep watching because this topic is very relevant. Not just for parents, wannabes, but also to those na meron ng pets and for babies. Keep watching because for today, I'll be discussing two main points. One is number one, giving. Assessing your resources, capacity, and capability to raise a fur baby. And the other main point is number two, Choosing will answer the basic questions and narrow down your selection. So ayan, simula na natin. First of all, let's cover our basis. What can you give? And how much are you willing to give? We'll go over this one by one. Siyempre, we have to talk about your financial capacity, your time, and your space. Having a fur baby has its cost. Andiyan yung pagkain or yung food. On top of it, meron silang regular vaccination schedules or at least annual checkups or your annual vaccination such as anti-rabies, 5-in-1, take and flee preventive, and the likes. No, So, yung grooming and other essentials such as leash, harness, toys, beds, sometimes even clothes. Can you afford to provide the basic needs of the dog? Yes or no? So, if yes, magkano ba yung budget mo? Ito ang payo ko sa mga gusto maging porent, ha? Mag-set tayo ng budget. It would help you narrow down which dog to choose from. Another factor is space. Assess mo yung living conditions sa yung environment mo. Better kung meron kayong bakuran. So, isa pa, do you live alone? Or do you share your space with other people? Do you live in an apartment or in a condominium? Visualize mo rin kung ano yung magiging setup if magkaroon ka ng kasamang dog in your space. Saan siya matutulog? Saan ang kanyang play area? O kaya yung designated place kung saan siya dudumi o iuhi. Of course, i-consider mo din yung kapitbahay. Maging, magiging issue ba yung barking, yung amoy ng aso? Siyempre, mga amoy yan. And even yung allergies. 
Meron ba yung mga kasama mo sa bahay or ikaw mismo? And lastly, time. Okay. Provided you can afford to have a dog. Meron kang space na can accommodate a dog. But do you have the time sa busy ng oras mo to take care of the dog? Take into consideration who will feed it, clean, and walk with them. May oras and energy ka ba to look after them? Hindi lang yung pagpapakain at paglinis. Siyempre, yung pag-train din sa kanila. Halimbawa, yung potty training, crate training, or even yung simple walking and playing with them. Another thing is, you have to consult and assess other members of your family. Baka ikaw lang kasi yung may gusto or willing to commit to this kind of responsibility. Kung naman madalas kayo mag-travel, sino mag-aalaga sa pet mo? Okay lang ba sa'yo na dalhin yung pet mo sa pagbiyahe mo? Next, assess mo kung yung experience mo in parenting. Assess yung pet parenting experience. Do you have any previous experiences in taking care of a dog or a cat or hamster or reptile? Bakit ko tinanong to? Kasi doon mo magigage yung kahandaan mo maging isang peryo. Hindi biro maging isang foreign and mag-start ng isang pomili. More than yung cute selfies and videos na nakikita natin on social media, we have to carefully and realistically assess our capability and capacity to be good providers. Sabi nga nila, you cannot give what you don't have. Again, three major components you should be able to give are money, space, and time. After nyong mapag-isipan, ma-assess, at makarating sa desisyon na kaya nyong maging isang foreign, now onto the next steps is to answer these questions. Number one, what kind of dog? Number two, where and how to get a fine and healthy dog? Ang masasabi ko lang dito, wala naman talagang scientific measurement or criteria for that. Meaning, one size does not fit all. Ang rule of thumb, consider your personality and your lifestyle. Active and outgoing ka ba? High energy and high intensity ba yung usual activities? No? Or gusto mo yung nanonood ka ng TV, laid back, at sa bahay ka lang na yung couch potato na tinatawag. Siyempre, pipili tayo ng dog na magiging compatible or yung magko-complement sa ating personality or sa buong pamilya. Next is, narrow down your list. Answer some of these questions. Do you have kids or small children at home? Do you have asthma or allergies? Is drooling, barking, and shedding of fur an issue? Do you always have guests in your house? Do you like traveling with pets? Cover all your bases. Picture a scenario of what kind of dog you want to have. From here on, start asking experts, veterinarians, and reputable breeders or accredited dog breeders. No? You can also ask people whom you know are experienced and responsible pet owners or porets. But also, aside from these, you must do your own research. To answer this question, do you want a pure breed or a mixed breed? For others kasi, nagmamatter yung genetic history ng aso or meron talaga silang particular specific na breed na gustong gusto nilang makuha or alagaan. Ang masasabi ko lang dito is as long as you can successfully manage, bakit naman hindi? Take for example, huskies. Hindi gaano compatible yung double and dense coat nila sa weather natin dito sa Pilipinas. So, yung iba talaga nag aircon pa at madalas talaga silang bumisita sa groomer para lang ma-manage yung regular shedding nila. Other breeds such as pugs, prone yan sa breeding problems like yung boas or yung brachycephalic syndrome. Yung large breeds naman ng dogs like yung, yung Great Dane, yung mga giant breeds, no? They're prone to hip dysplasia, osteochondrosis desiccans, joint problems. Pit bulls naman require a lot of exercise. So, kaya mo bang ibigay yung exercise na hihingi nila sa'yo? There are certain breeds that require at least 30 to 60 minutes of exercise every day. Meron ka ba niyan? No, for grooming naman, yung mga poodles, for example, are obviously tedious and expensive to groom and maintain. Kailangan nila ng 
constant grooming para ma-maintain natin yung look na hinahanap mo sa kanila. But they are hypoallergenic. So, magandang choice din to if you have members of the family or you yourself ay may asthma or allergies. So, iba't ibang nature, temperament, grooming requirement, health requirement, and weather acclimatization for certain breeds. There are pros and cons. So, again, kailangan nyo magbasa, mag-research, magtanong. On our website, www.sanmiguelpetcare.com, we actually have a dog digest. Why did we create a dog digest? Because we believe that in order to truly show our love for dogs, we must immerse ourselves first in learning about their nature. Siyempre, we have to recognize na iba yung set of needs of canines compared to us humans. We also created Dog Digest to feature each of the dog breed's unique personality, temperament, and maintenance needs. It is a one-step place to get basic information you need about certain breeds, which also includes some interesting and fun facts. Featured in dyan yung recommended NutriChunks flavor and variant depending on their coat, grooming needs, and physical activity. Siyempre, if you are planning to start a family, kailangan mo ding malaman yung dog food na makakapagbigay sa kanila ng complete and balanced nutrition for them. NutriChunks premium dog food that is suitable for all breeds and life stages. Lastly, I want to impart and remind you guys, hashtag love knows no breed. Not necessarily walang breed. Ganito kasi yan. Dog can either be pure breed, cross breed, or mixed breed. So, kung iisipin mo, lahat may breed. In fact, yung ating native breeds, Aspins, are considered as mixed breeds. We have plenty of animal shelters and rescue dogs. Bigyan naman natin sila ng chance. These dogs also deserve to be loved. It is also a good alternative kesa bumili tayo ng mas mahal na breed. Others say na mas resilient. Well adapted yung mga aspins compared to foreign or exotic dog breeds. Totoo yan. As long as you have a healthy dog and you properly take care of them, wala po tayong problema doon. Purebred or mixed breed man yan, it all boils down on how you nurture your whole family. The quality and general well-being of your family starts from within. Give them what they need and choose what they deserve. Siyempre, yung best care and nutrition. That's it. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something. And keep on watching for Doc Andy's discussion on how to have a clean and safe home for the whole family. And we also have a guest for it. We're having Miss Bernie to tell us her experience with Shih Tzu's as her fur babies. I'll see you later sa ating question and answer portion. I-comment nyo na lang yung mga tanong nyo and I'll be answering them later on. Again, I'm Dr. Fertz your resident veterinarian. Thank you, Doc Ferds. Wow, very informative. And actually, totoo naman yun kasi as exciting and cute as it sounds, Agree naman ako sa lahat ng sinabi ni Doc Ferds because parenting is one big responsibility. And you have to take your time to plan on assessing your capacity to give, which will then guide you on choosing the most compatible dogs sa inyong pomily, di ba? Actually, sobrang um, napaisip ako dun sa sinabi ni Doc Ferds na uh, consider you then the people that you live with because um, for the longest time, obviously, like I live with my siblings, my parents, and stuff like that. And and thinking of getting a new fur baby in our house, never ko naisip before na sila mama at papa kaya magugustuhan nila if we welcome a new um, fur baby or yung siblings ko ba okay lang din sa kanila. And, you know, it's also nice na parang na-highlight yung fact na yun. And actually, we already have a bunch of questions for you guys, um, which we will uh, compile for the Q&A later. But again, you guys can comment down below your questions or if you just want to say hi to anybody and share this Facebook Live video, go ahead and do that, okay? So, ngayon, um, 
gusto ko rin mag uh, tumingin sa comment section kasi gusto ko makita if you know nakaka-relate ba kayo <laughs> um pat says proud for parent of aspen and um we also have here Amy or Amy, I hope I'm saying your um your name correctly. Sabi niya, love knows no breed. Wag tayong breedist. Ang <laughs> cute. Also, we have um actually totoo yun eh. Ang ganda ng last point talaga ni Doc Ferds na parang you know, lahat naman ng dogs may breed. So, I mean, it's also it's nice that we now know that. Ako, ako ngayon nalaman ko na. So, you know, and uh, um I actually have a friend who who visits um what they call this uh, dog shelters um na madalas so alam mo yun yung parang ganun na ang saya lang na you know to share the love na sa lahat ng breed diba um we have one more comment here uh Denise says or Dennis um it's funny kasi we bring a dog home before we even ask parents <laughs> totoo oh my gosh Ano, i-text niyo lang sila, inform niyo lang sila if, you know, they're willing to, you know, live with a new fur baby. Para lang ano, para lang aligned kayo with the family. And so that everybody's, um, everybody's agreeing now, we will all take care of this new fur baby. So, that's nice, you guys. Okay, so, um, thank you for all of your comments. And still, uh, comment down below for all of your questions. Ang dami ko na nakita questions. Actually, yung mga questions nyo, Parang feeling ko questions ko din. Kanina pa ako nagsusulat dito sa, ano ko, sa notepad ko. Um, and don't forget to share and invite the whole pomely. Tutok lang dahil uh, later yung Q&A uh, live session natin. So keep commenting. Okay? So going back to our discussion, choosing an appropriate dog for your family. Now, dapat consider din natin how we can achieve a clean and safe home for everybody, both humans and pets alike. So, without further ado, let's hear it from Dr. Andy Tan. Hello, parents. Welcome to NutriChunk's Pomily FB Live session. I'm glad to be back. Tama si Doc Ferds. Two years na since the COVID-19 pandemic. And of course, marami na sa ating nabakunahan at nabigyan na ng booster shot pa. Pero wag natin kakalimutan, always we have to stay safe and be protected. Of course, hand washing, personal hygiene, wearing of masks, we should not forget. Para po sa mga viewers natin, let me introduce myself again. I'm Dr. Endymion Irvin Tan. You can call me Doc Endy in short. I practice as an internist and infectious disease specialist. Meaning to say, hindi lang yung mga adult cases ang titingnan ko, pati yung mga adult cases na may mga complex or mga malulubhang infections, I treat them. For those of you na nagpaplano pa lang to start their own family, or even if meron na silang existing fur baby, I am here to give you guidelines and things to consider when starting a family, especially when we are talking about maintaining and achieving a clean and safe home. Aside from grooming and food and health maintenance for dogs, of course, maintaining a clean and safe home is very important. On top of regular cleaning, talaga namang mas challenging maglinis at magdisinfect if we are sharing or we are going to share our space with our pets. Keep in mind that we all produce danders. Ano nga bang danders? Dander is a material shed from the body of humans and other animals Katulad ng mga furs, balahibo, galing sa ating mga fur babies, yan, yan yung mga dunders na sinasabi natin. So nasa paligid-ligid lang natin to. So what more if we have pets around us? Siyempre, dapat mas careful tayo no? and wary with those dunders because those can cause infections later on. Siyempre, we are planning to have fur babies at home. Like as humans, dogs do defecate, dumudumi sila, they do urinate, umiihi sila, at nagsished or kumakalat ng mga furs or yung mga balahibo. Yan yung mga danders, yung mga poops nila, or yung mga ihi. So we have to be very, very careful. We certainly have to double the effort of cleaning and disinfecting our home. Pag ganito ang senaryo. So here's what we are going to do. 
assess natin yung space relative to the size and expected amount of dander na magagaling from our household members at pets combined. Can you manage it? Naka, pwede naman na small dogs na lang or dogs na with shorter or yung mga mas maikling coats or fur ang piliin. How about talking about good ventilation? Another consideration yan that we should have a good ventilation system. Air-conditioned nga bang room or yung may natural airflow ang inyong space? So make sure the environment is conducive for both animals and us humans. Because if hindi siya well-maintained, sabihin natin masikip, madumi, mabaho, humid, moist, or dampened yung space, mataas ang chances or probability na mag-thrive or bumuhay or pamugaran ito ng mga bacteria, fungi, viruses, at iba pang mga organisms na pwedeng mag-cause ng sakit. Ano ba yung mga common na zoonotic diseases or infections? I'm going to enumerate some of them. First, meron tayong salmonellosis, plague, and talking about plague, Alam niyo ba, almost a century ago, or more than a century ago, because hindi pa ganun ka modern, like the sewage, so yung mga tao, mas nagkakakontakt sila with those animals, specifically yung mga rats of, of this point, no? Doon sa plague na usapan. And then, nakuha natin mga infections from them, leading to ang daming namamatay. At ayaw natin mangyari ulito. Thirdly, the coronavirus. Remember, the COVID-19 pandemic is caused by coronavirus. Almost two years na since the start of the pandemic. Ngayon, bumababa ni mga cases, ayaw na natin maulit yan. Why? Because of course our fur babies, our dogs, our cats, they can be infected. Pwede hindi nga sila magkaroon ng symptoms, but if we do not take care of them, then they are infected. Then we come in contact with them, pwede din tayong mahawa ng COVID-19 from our fur babies. Next, Rabies. Rabies is a vaccine-preventable infection. If we can take care of our fur babies, our pets, our dogs, if we can give them good quality care, vaccination schedules na pa-follow natin, then we can prevent such zoonotic infections na mapunta sa atin. Next, meron tayong matitawag na brucellosis, Lyme's disease, at marami pang mga zoonotic infections. Kaya naman, ang pinaka-important dito is what can you do to protect your family? Not just as humans, but of course, pati ating mga pets. How? Keep your hands clean. Kung hahawak tayo sa mga pets, food, or doorknobs, dapat remember, we should do regular cleaning, hand washing, and of course, manatilihing malinis ang ating paligid. Disinfection? Yes. Cleaning is different from the word disinfection. Ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng dalawang words na yan? When I say cleaning, ito, lilinisin natin ang isang bagay o isang environment para yung mga nakikita nating madume, katulad ng mga poops ng mga fur babies natin, yung ihi nila, o kung may mga danders, balahibo, kung may dugo, o mga soiled na gamit, lilinisin nila para hindi natin makita. Ngunit pag disinfection, Pati yung mga organisms na hindi nakikita ng naked eye natin, if we use a very, very good product, we can disinfect. Kasi di ba yung mga viruses, fungi, bacteria, hindi yan natin nakikita. So we want to disinfect those surfaces para we won't get infected with them. Okay? So that's the difference between cleaning and disinfection. So, we have to commit to our regular cleaning and disinfecting of our home and surfaces. We have to use an effective, fast-acting, and safe products. Dapat hindi siya magkakos ang harm to us as humans and of course to our fair babies. Anong product to? Katulad ng Protect Plus Gold Disinfectant Powder. This is very safe for us humans, pati sa mga dogs and pets natin, para we can achieve ang total protection ng buong pomaly. Not just us, but including our beloved pets at home. That's it. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from this session. If you have questions, comments, or just want to ask something, feel free to type later, and then I'll see you sa Q&A portion mamaya. Sasagutin natin mga tanong ninyo. Again, I'm Dr. Andy Tan, your infectious disease specialist. Bye for now, and I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you, Doc Andy.
Totoo naman kasi talaga. Prevention is better than the cure. So, cleaning and disinfection ang kailangan. And may nagtanong dito, ano yung PPG? Yes, may mention ni Doc Andy, that is Protect Plus Gold. That's what we talked about dun sa FB live session natin last December. Um, and actually, yung isa dun sa parang medyo na parang gusto ko mag-focus on, yung never ko din naisip before is ventilation. Now, it's such a big thing, especially, well, I remember when I brought my fur, my my pet, my fur baby, sa apartment ko, which was, uh, you know, a little smaller than our house. Yung walang, wala kaming, you know, wala kaming open area for them to run around. Talagang, you know, there's the smell, and then obviously, yun nga yung fur nila. And ventilation was such a big um, issue and it's also such a big help kapag ginawa mo na siyang better for your place. So thank you for that, Doc Andy. So you know what? Like he said, make it a habit, especially if we have pets or fur babies with us, uh, cleaning and disinfection, I mean. And um, actually, we will answer the biggest question. Worth it nga ba talaga maging isang Torrent, hashtag for real. So to answer that, syempre dapat manggaling mismo yung sagot sa ating experienced torrent, just like Miss Bernie. Hello everyone and hello parents. My name is Miss Bernie Alfonso and you can call me Miss Bernie for short. I am a proud parent too. Not just that. Very fab and fashionable parent, katulad ninyo. So when it comes to parenting, I do it with style. Para bonga. Back in 2006, nung hindi pa medyo uso, ang extra care sa ating mga pet lovers, isa ang mall na ito na nagsusupport sa ating pet loving community. Kaya I am very honored to join the NutriChunks family. And as you can see, meron tayong solid community online man or in person. I am here at SM City East Ortigas Po Park. Ayan, you can bring your fur babies with you while shopping and mauling. We have several Po Parks in SM Malls. We have SM Basinag, Taytay, Ora, at syempre Santa Mesa. Ang saya-saya di ba kapag kompleto ang entire family? Very exciting talaga maging foreign. For those of you guys na nagbabalak pa lang maging foreign, Nag-take notes ba kayo kanina sa discussion with Doc Ferns? How to start a family? Hashtag for real. Parang real talk lang yan, di ba? Since Doc Ferns Resio and Doc Andy Tan discussed ano ba dapat yung very important considerations before taking in a fur baby. The reality is, it's one big responsibility talaga. No buts, no ifs. Mahirap. Challenging, yes. But it is visible, manageable, and fun. And again, you can do it with style pa nga. It gets better over time. And syempre, it's worth it. Kahit ako eh, iba talaga ang pagmamahal kapag may mga dogs kang kasama. And I'm very happy to be with them. Well, for today, I'll be sharing my experience and things I've learned for the past years being a parent. The joys and pride of being a parent by discussing with you what are the benefits of having for babies? The first benefit is that dogs protect us. They protect our homes, yung perimeter ng ating property, ng ating person, no? Sa atin mismo. Meron kang personal security. Huwag ismulin ang mga cute dogs dahil wala sa size yan. Very intelligent ang ating mga dogs. Matatapang at malakas silang tumahol. They can sense danger from afar and they're very effective to alert us when there is something wrong. Especially kung na-train natin sila talaga. Next benefit naman natin ay ang dogs teach us to be more responsible. Usually, dogs are the reason why we wake up and get out of bed. That's my reason. Para kanino ka ba bumabangon? Ganon! Pero kung bisan pa nga, yung pets pa natin yung mismong nagagising sa atin. Morning walk, and potty breaks, kailangan na nilang kumain. When you are a parent kasi, kasama na talaga sa daily routine at weekly scheduling mo yung inyong mga fur babies, dogs teach us important life lessons, the value of obligation, consistency, and maturity. Your fur baby's well-being is a reflection of their parents, 
Tatandaan nyo yan ha, laging sinasabi yan. Ang temperament ng ating mga aso ay temperament ng mga owners. With that, for the third benefit, dogs can improve our emotional intelligence. Since dogs cannot literally and explicitly say or spell out yung nararamdaman nila, yung natural tendency natin bilang parents is to really pay attention, observe, be the voice of the voiceless. More on the nonverbal communication, may tinatawag tayong dog language. Dogs teach us about patience, compassion, and respect for animals and life in general. In return, dogs are very loyal. Hindi ka nila ipagpapalit. More than you being their master, they love us back unconditionally. Very effective and therapeutic for us humans na mapulfill yung ating basic needs for touch. By touching, petting, hugging, and cuddling with our dogs, we are reassured that we are not alone. We are loved and safe with our dogs. And lastly, for our babies can improve our health. Yes, that's very true. Health in general. Let's start with mental health. Dogs improve our mental health. Para silang personal therapists. They can help you deal with and decrease stress, anxiety, and depression. In terms of social skills naman, having dogs makes us more sociable or makes us more approachable and attractive. They help us meet new people and make friends. Habang naglalakad ka, biglang may lalapit sa'yo, asking and inquiring about your dog. Kung minsan nga, baka yun na yung forever mo, hindi natin alam. Next aspect naman natin ay ang physical health. Fur babies help us improve our physical health. They keep us more active. From daily morning walks, simple games such as fetch, catch, running to a particular sport or exercise. Pwera lang ako, kasi kami ng pet ko, make up ang gusto namin gawin. Sila yung ating fitness buddy. And that's it. Those are the five benefits of having a fur baby. Things I've mentioned are priceless as compared sa mga dapat nating i-provide sa kanila. But we live life better with fur babies. They make us more responsible, patient, and compassionate human beings. Siyempre, this comes with great responsibility. Pero kung hindi pa kayo ready to have one, you'll eventually get there. Huwag ninyong ipilit kasi in the end, kayo din at yung aso ninyo ang magsasuffer. A good alternative is a visit, volunteer, and extend your blessings sa ating mga dog shelters and animal rescue facilities. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later ha sa ating question and answer portion. I-comment nyo lang yung mga tanong ninyo and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Again, my name is Miss Bernie, your fab and factionable parent. Thank you, Miss Bernie. Grabe, yung five reasons to become a parent. Feeling ko, yun pa lang yung first five. Kasi feeling ko maha mahaba yung listahan eh. <laughs> because, you know, I mean, I feel like once you become a parent, parang sobrang dami mong marirealize sa sirili, sirili nyo. And ako, when I became a, um, a parent when I was young, ang hindi ko na-realize, well, na-realize ko na siya through the years, um, na may personality din pala yung pets natin, yung dogs natin, na parang may iba, masungit, may iba, very sociable. Well, I remember my dog was very just chill. Kung baga, lalapitan kayo if you have food. If you don't have food, hindi kayo lalapitan. <laughs> Which is basically also me. Kasi I'm attracted to food. So kapag may tao na may pagkain, I'm like, oh, I want to be your friend, you know? <laughs> and um, actually, ngayon, magbabasa naman tayo ng comments from our um, viewers here on uh, our comment section. So sabi ni Ami, let me see, Dockford's, gusto ko po ng askal para tipid. So later... Uh, magko-comment si Doc Ferds about that. Actually, may nag-comment dito na, I love your smile, Miss Bernie. Actually, sobrang nakakahawa nga yung good vibes ni Miss Bernie. Yung parang, yung parang sobrang saya. <laughs> sobrang saya ng pagiging pet parent and you wanna experience it yourself as well. As kanina rin may nag-comment about 
ano, like, ang cute daw nung isang dog na naka-hoodie. Actually, gusto ko tanungin yun kay Doc Ferns later on, na parang, okay lang ba na damitan sila? <laughs> Because even our dog here, minsan nilalagyan namin sila ng damit, and we don't know if it helps or if it doesn't. So, hopefully, masagot yung tanong. We have a bunch of questions for you guys. Um, everybody, just saying hello to Miss Bernie, all of... Um, her fans and sabi pa niya na I saw Miss Bernie last time sa SM East Artigas event and actually sobrang lapit nun sa akin and I didn't know na merong um, parang playground dun for pets and I would want to visit kahit wala akong okay lang ba na kahit wala akong dalang pet for a time parang gusto ko lang makakita <laughs> um, Odette is watching from Manila and Sabi ni Mar Vizel, sana makapagpapicture ako sa'yo with my pets. Well, actually, today um, is a special day kasi you get to interact with um, both of our veterinarians here and, of course, Miss Bernie, okay? So, again, um, comment down below lahat ng gusto nyo sabihin sa kanila to all our guests and, of course, all of your questions. We have a bunch of questions. Actually, feeling ko mawawalan tayo ng time but still try to comment down all of your questions for Doc Andy Dockfords and Miss Bernie, okay? So, we're gonna start our question and answer portion. So, syempre yung speakers natin yung sasagot ng questions nyo. So, let us all welcome joining us live our fab and fashionable porn, Miss Bernie Alfonso. Hello, Miss Bernie! Hello, hello, hello! Hi, Miss Bernie! Hi! Hi nice hello, to Sam. meet you! <laughs> yes, and to all our parents there, hello everyone! Hello, hi, Miss Bernie. Kasama niyo ba yung fur babies yung ngayon? Andyan no, sila. No, no. Ah, nasa na rin sila kasi naka-aircon. So, Ay, totoo. Oh my gosh, alam niyo ba, Miss Bernie, yung Labrador namin ngayon. Mahilig siya tumambay sa labas ng door ng brother ko kasi may aircon. Oh, oh. So, lumalabas yung, ano, yung oh, cold oh, air. Oo, kasi malamig. Kasi mainit yeah. yun. And they like oh, to stay gosh. in the bathroom, actually. Yes. Kasi malamig yun. Dahil, Doon sa tiles, oh, no? Oh, oh my oh. gosh, ang cute! <laughs> well, welcome, Miss Bernie. And yes. uh, now, to join us this afternoon, let's all welcome our infectious disease expert, Doc Andy Tan. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, Doc Andy. Hi, Doc Hello. Nice to see you Hello, again. Doc Andy. Nice Hi, to see Ms. you. Bernie. And Grabe, Bernie. Doc Andy. Ang dami ko na namang questions sa'yo. Sure, feel free. <laughs> we'll answer them. Kasi, <laughs> the last time we uh, talked to each other, um, actually, we, we got a new dog. So, four months mm -hmm. old na siya. And syempre, di ba parang a new, a new fur baby. Bagong mm -hmm. ano na naman, bagong experience. So, sobrang dami ko talagang questions about it. And madami yung questions. Labrador yata, right? Yung nabang yes. Yes. Na. Labrador. Uh -oh. <laughs> Actually, marami rin questions yung um, viewers natin today. So, we're gonna get to that. But before that, of course, uh, hindi natin makakalimutan to complete our set of speakers that is all welcome our resident veterinarian, Dr. Furz Resho. Dr. Furz, are you there? Yes, hello. Yes, I'm sorry. Hi, Dr. Furz. Hello, hi. Hello, Dr. Everyone's doing fine. Miss Bernie, Doc Andy, and Rika. Hello. And yeah, so, um, uh, kanina nagbabasa ako ng mga comments. Dami nagtatanong. So, we are so excited to ask. And, uh, yun na, uh, yung iba sa kanila, I'm sure, no, ulit ang yung mga tanong. So, we'll try to compile all those questions. So, we'll try to you know, do our best uh, to answer all of them. No? So, okay, but before so... anything else, uh, pakita, pakilalo kayo sa Oh my gosh, meron! Yay! Oh my god, this is Berlin! Berlin Hello, is Berlin! <laughs> oh wow! Oh, oh, Rika, yung tanong mo kanina. Ayan, oh. Uh, pwede. Actually, <laughs> actually, si Berlin is, ano, is, is preggy. Pregnant yan. Oh, uh, hi Berlin! Ang bigat na niya. Ang bigat na niya. Lakas siya kumain. You know, ano to eh. I'm in the clinic right now, no? Mas minsan yung mga clients ko pupunta dito just to see my dog, not me. Anymore. <laughs> Actually, yun yung dog first, sinabihan din ako ng parents ko na parang, feeling ko umuwi ka dito sa bahay para makita mo yung new Labrador natin no? hindi kami. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> sabi, dala silang mga food. Nakala ko sa akin. Ayun yun pala. Yun pala. Ayun pala sa mga dogs. Oo, nakakasin. Oh my God. Sabi, I'm happy that they're happy with my dogs as well. 
And, you know, that's one of the benefits of family. Like I said, I've been with You know, we, we get so many benefits from them. And those are just the tip of the iceberg. We, mm. we cannot, we cannot uh, put them into words, right? Yeah. The, the love that they give to back to us, the small, the little attention that we give to them, yung binabalik nila sa atin, so much more. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you are excited to become fur parents and uh, very apt itong ating uh, topic for today because, uh, you know, like what I always say, anybody, anyone can have a dog, but not everyone should have a dog. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, kailangan interesting. Na, kailangan ready. Kailangan handa tayo financially, emotionally, everyone in the house, like the, all the things I mentioned earlier. Yeah, actually Ayun. super agree. And sobrang dami nating questions regarding that dog foods. Kasi alam niyo, parang ako na, na-realize ko over the years talaga na parang, you know, our pets, they're here at, for a part of our lives as humans. Pero sila, they're buong buhay nila tayo, yung buhay nila. Yes. So parang, yeah, it's a really a big responsibility. And sobrang dami nating questions. So we're gonna flash a few questions for you guys. Um, and you guys can answer. So from Jeremy, who says, Hi Doc, regarding grooming. So I'm guessing this is kay Doc Andy. Um, ask ko lang po what kinds of dogs yung hindi masyadong kailangan i-groom. Or kay Doc Ferds, pwede rin. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyone can answer that. Any dog, uh, uh, dog lover can maybe have an idea. So, yung mga, yung, 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 if, if uh, by grooming you mean yung susuklaya, papadala sa grooming salon, no? the best is yung mga short-haired dogs. No? Okay. Yung mga aspi natin, yung mga mixed breed natin na um, short-haired, kasi yung, ano, less yung requirement nila sa pagsuklay, sa pagshampoo, less din yung skin problems, yung skin diseases. So, yung ano yung uh, maintenance nila for grooming mas kakaunti din so uh, in reverse kung kung uh, mahilig naman kayo like si uh, si Miss Birdie madami siyang time na kalikutin yung kanyang mga aso because excited siyang pagandahin yung niya kinukulutan kinukulayan nila lagay lang ko rin ano ano no you, you 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 should get yung mga mahabang hairs no yung mga of course it goes without saying na uh, mal- malaking maintenance. Yung gastos sa groomers, yung shampoo, yung supplements that you should give them. And it's a good thing that in Nutrichunks, we have yung, uh, yung coat uh, with omega fatty acids, very rich omega-3. It improves the quality of the skin and the fur, making them more shiny and healthy. Kaya, yun. Yeah. For, 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 for you who, who want to maintain the quality of uh, coat ng inyong mga aso, Get a dog food that uh, can actually provide the needs for your dogs. Yon. So, sana na sagot yung question mo. Actually, um, kami right now, isa lang yung dog namin na um, long yung hair. Ano siya? Shih tzu. So, ngayon, parang pag summer pinapakalbo namin. Okay lang ba yun, Doc Ferds? <laughs> yeah, 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 Rika, you mentioned that. No? Kasi may nagtanong doon kanina. I was browsing through the questions. Yeah, so uh, you, so yung pag-cut ng hair, madaming ano, tayo indications. Madami tayo yung yeah. dahilan kung bakit natin kinakat yung hair. Number one, if we want, if merong skin problems, skin disease, mas pinapakalbo natin yung aso para mas madali natin magamot, makita yung changes if it's responding to the treatment or not. Pangalawa, if the dog's getting really dirty, uh, unmanageable na, o kaya masyado nang matted yung kanilang mm-hmm. hairs, Mas maganda pa, tanggalin muna so that you can encourage the growth of your hairs. I'm sure si Doc Andy will agree with me na eh, same thing in humans, kung talagang sira-sira na yung buhok, I, 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 alam din ko ni Mr. Bernie, no? kapag sira-sira na yung buhok, siguro medyo gupitin mo. Siyempre, tanggalin na. Yeah. <laughs> same thing with dogs. Same thing with dogs. No? So, kung medyo uh, kailangan nating bawasan dahil we want to encourage the growth of new young hair or yung, yung better growth of this uh, improve the quality of the skin and the coat binabawasan natin no so uh, but it doesn't mean na uh, mainit tapos kailangan natin i-groom no because alam mo there are studies na sinasabi na kapag yung temperature ng aso nakokontrol na with the presence of coat so mm. so ibig sabihin hindi 
kapag mainit, hindi dapat, hindi ibig sabihin dapat kaguhin mo yung asa mo. Kasi they maintain also, yung, yung thermal regulation, it helps them. No? Uh, uh, na control yung masyadong mainit sa labas. Yeah, oh, important yun ngayon. Yeah, important yun ngayon kasi, di ba, summertime. So actually, may nagtanong kanina about weather acclimate. Ac- oh no, actually, hindi. So, dito tayo sa question na to kay Lyle. There we go. Um, okay lang po ba na kahit twice a week ko lang po napapaliguan yung dog ko? So on the weekends, kasi doon lang siya available and since may work siya. And um, her dog is an Aspen. So... Yeah, Yeah, thank you very much for the question. No, kung wala namang problema sa balat, yung, yung aso, kung dumi lang talaga, once a week is enough. O litin ko yan, ha? Yeah. Baka magulat yung iba. Baka magulat once a week. Kasi minsan yun na-anthropomize natin yung, as, yung mga aso natin. Na we consider them like humans. No, isang beses ka lang sa isang limong maligo, di ang dumi-dumi mo na. Sa humans, that will not work. But for our dogs, yes. Because they need to maintain that... Uh, Uh, the coat that protects their skin from bacteria, from infection, etc. No, of course, it's different if your dog has a different uh, type of coat. Let's say, kung siya dog oily, madali siya kapita ng uh, grease. No, so mas constant yung pagligo uh, sa kanya mas maganda. However, kung dry naman, uh, mas madalang mas maganda because yung natural oils uh, na nasa skin protects them from all these pathogens. If we if we devoid that, if we rid them of that, pas madali silang sakita, kapita ng sakita. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Kaya ba, Miss Bernie, meron kayong parang ano, meron kayong parang special routine before you, you know, yeah. take care of your dogs or like, <laughs> giving a bath, you know? Oh, before giving them uh-huh. a bath. Kinakantahan niyo ba sila? No, or like... <laughs> medyo ano pa sila ko, I'm a strict mommy. Oh my medyo gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> So, if I say parang bath time, bath time. So, mm-hmm. susunod na yan, ganyan. Kasi after that, i-blow dry pa siya. Tapos, ang daming gagawin. So, not... Kasi wala naman masama. We having discipline, no? Kasi parang mga anak mo yan. So, whenever I call on them, uh, lapit kayo. Kasi pag hindi, then you're gonna hear it from your mom. Ganun na. Wala. Yeah. Wala masyado <laughs> sweet, eh. <laughs> But that's so cute. I mean, like, di ba may kita mo din yung different personalities of different parents. So we have another yeah. question here sa comment section. So Miss Bernie, meron ka bang favorite breed? Yes. I'm so sorry sa lahat. Yung iba kasi akala nila I like Chihuahuas or Shih Tzu's. But I really like uh, Jack Russell Terriers. So oh. yun talaga ang aking uh, breed of choice, no? Uh, maybe because favorite talaga siya ng anak ko and my late husband. Kaya I, I grew into it. Pero before, I super like beagles. And then nagbago. Naging Jack Russell na. Kasi okay, okay sila. Very mm-hmm. sweet. Tapos smart. Very active. Although hindi siya nakaka-help sa exercise ko. Pero <laughs> <laughs> sila. I super love them. And yeah, that's my breed of choice. Okay, that's so cute. Kayo ba, Doc Andy? Meron kayong breed of choice? <laughs> uh, personally, kasi dun sa mga pawangkin ko, so she has actually one, two, three, four, four dogs right now. Mm-hmm. So like later on and this week, I'll be going there to play with them. So ano sila, no? Um, isang Labrador. Kaya nung okay. kinabi, <laughs> he's really so big. And yeah. isang Akita. I think he's an Akita. Oh, yeah. Akita, yeah. yeah. It's a large, it's a giant breed. Medyo. Yeah. And two na, parati kong nilalaro at take ng picture and I post it in my Facebook and Instagram. Yung dalawang, I call them, uh, their names are Lori kasi and Chanel. No? So, um, oh. uh, ano ba sila? Hindi ko bilang na bang, um, siya, oh my God, wow, anong breed nga sila? Nakalimutan ko sa yung breed. Ang cute kasi ng names. There's so many, you know, there's so many breeds so, of dogs. Yeah. Right? So, maliliit sila, no? And aside uh-huh. from dogs, actually, Uh, she has currently eight cats because I personally wow. I also love cats. So we have eight cats there right now. So three big ones and five smaller ones that have really really grown so fast. Na medyo malalaki na sila, but they're quite elusive. No, 
ano sila, eh, pag nilalapitan ko, tumatakbo agad. Unlike yung mabig ones, mas nahawakan ko. Pero mas natutakit yung sila nila kasi I might not know when nila ako mas scratch. Mas kugat pa tayo bigla. Pero ano, Doc Andy, like, um, talking about like hygiene and mm-hmm. let's say you have different kinds of pets, is it wise na parang, kunwari, paliguan mo sila sabay-sabay all at the same time? Oh. Actually, <laughs> or like, you know, when it comes to like the bacteria and everything. Mm-hmm. Actually, kasi uh, when yung mga kasambahin namin, when they're, or, or pinapaliguan nila yung mga cats, yeah, they, they shower the cats, actually, and the dogs. They do it one at a time. Kasi especially mm-hmm. with the cats, because pinapakita nila sa akin na, do ko na nagagawin ko, may na-scratch daw siya ng cat. Gusto ko sabihin na ko, kung everyday ka naman ma-scratch ng cat, hindi ka na ma- matatapos sa pag rabies vaccine. No? <laughs> so sabi ko sa kanya, as long as the cats have been vaccinated, they practice proper hygiene, mm-hmm. and of course, the environment for the pets and the furry babies that we have would be very, very conducive, very clean, less chances for them to be infected with any of those viruses, bacteria, or any infections that can be transmitted to us humans. So very mm-hmm. important talaga like, yung environment, yung ventilation for the pets that we have. True. I know. We have another question from our viewers. Again, for Doc Andy, regarding sa paglinis ng area ng dog, okay lang po ba na Zonrox yung ginagamit sa paglinis ng dumi ng aso. Okay. So remember, uh, sa areas kung saan sila dumudumi kasi, those are the areas kung saan din sila tumatambay or nakathrive, no? Very often. So we've said before, no? Dun sa last na live natin na show, yung mga zone rocks, they belong to the bleach family. And sometimes the zone rocks, they can be very corrosive to dun sa mga steel or dun sa mga cages nila or dun sa bed railings nila. So personally, I would not advise to use Zone Rocks, especially, or, well, it's a brand. So to use the bleach formula, sometimes it can be ingested or leaked by our fur babies, which might cause yung mga tinatawag natin liquefaction necrosis, no? Or kumbaga, nasusunog yung daluyan ng pagkain nila, and we want to avoid that. So we would like to reiterate, we can use a safer product that is not just for our for babies, mm-hmm. but would also be very safe for us humans. Yung PPG, I think may nagtanong mm-hmm. ayata kanina. Yeah, what is yeah, PPG? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's a Protect Plus Gold, like this one. No? Gold. Yeah. Gold. Protect Plus Gold. No? So we can use that. It's very, very safe. And in fact, it can, can kill almost 99.9% of human pathogens or human germs that they tawag na hindi talaga natin nakikita right. ng ating naked eye. Mm-hmm. At saka, alam Actually, mo yung chlorine, yung bleach, uh, if I may uh, add, no? yung fumes nila, very dangerous din. Baho, masangsang pa. With PPG, oh, meron siyang oh. strawberry, strawberry scent. Smell good to you, smell na. Oo. Oh, Misa nga pag, uh, you know, especially dito sa clinic, so, uh, nandito na lahat. Yung amoy ng ihi ng aso, amoy ng jebs ng aso, amoy ng tao. <laughs> <laughs> Halo-halo na sila dyan. Halo-halo na. So like yung sinabi ni Dr. Andy kanina, no, kung, yeah, it's, it's, mag, mag, ano, source ng bakterya ito, mga ito. So kailangan we have to maintain the cleanliness. Eh, eh kung lagi ka nag-disinfect using bleach or yung chlorine, yung smell also na nakaka, ano, nakaka-intoxicate, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, better use a product that is uh, safe to use kahit na maamoy mo o kahit na kahit na maglinger for a while do sa area safe siya at saka may mabago pa. Yun nga lang with PPG, it will leave a uh, parang white coating doon sa sa surfaces no because we, we've been trying that dito sa sa clinic we've been using that for parvo cases. Ang dami tayong mga parvo eh di syempre yung mga umalis kinyo tinulong na aso dito sa parvo, pinagaling natin, umuwi na sila. So yung mga viruses na yan, naiiwan sa cage, kailangan silang i-disinfect right away with the use of protect plus gold so that we eliminate the viruses that, 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 that were shed during the confinement period, yung mga tuta natin na infected. Hindi na parvo, giardia, uh, corona, no? uh, distemper, you know, hepatitis, all these uh, viruses and, uh, and pathogens can be eliminated with the use of Protect Plus. So, and no, in line with that, Docs, uh, tinatanong ni Leah, kung nagkakaroon ba ng coronavirus yung 
pets natin. Oh, we've, we've had coronavirus for the longest time ever since. But this is not COVID-19. Okay. COVID-19 is the one that we, that caused the pandemic, no? Um, it's a, it's a type of coronavirus, no? So in, in dogs, in cats, and in other animals, no? In birds also, may mga coronavirus na noon pa. So this one is kind of, as I think, a mutation of all these viruses combined na nag-form ng uh, the one that caused the pandemic right now. Mm-mm. So na hopefully, um, lahat tayo excited na mawala. Yes. yes. Sana talaga. <laughs> Pero Miss Bernie, ako may question ako sa inyo like regarding, you know, um ngayon especially na we're all under like a global pandemic. And na mention niyo na minsan mm-hmm. 'di ba may lalapit sa inyo na na mga tao na oh, ang cute naman ng dog mo. Like would would you ano ba suggest na parang would you let them pet your 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 no. dogs ganun? <laughs> I no. mean, okay. Uh, no agad. I mean, uh, as as a person Ako ha, personally, ikaw din ayaw mo magpapahawak agad, especially when the pandemic True. happened, no? Mm-mm. Before pandemic, ganun pa rin. Ganun na kami, uh-uh. and even with our dogs, kasi hindi natin alam where their hands had been. So, yes. so yung dogs natin na hawakan nila, hindi natin alam kung saan. And even on pagsosocialize sa dogs, we choose the places where we bring our dogs to. Mm-mm. So, hindi basta-basta. Even with, the, with my friends, yun ang ina-advise ko kasi that's part of taking care of your pets. Call yeah. it snob, call it maarte, but prevention is always better than cure. So that's if you true. can prevent those things, then be careful and take care of your pets. Actually, super agree ako sa'yo, Miss Bernie. And parang diba? ako, even ako, as like, you know, I appreciate other dogs, other paw parents, uh, sometimes I ask first. And when they say no, I don't take offense kasi parang, Siyempre, di ba? It, di ba? Parang yeah. personal space nila yun. So, we also yes, have to realize. Baby nila yun eh. Di ba? Baby nila yun. Mm-hmm. Meron baby bang baby, yun. bigla mo na lang ahawakan. If you kiss, if you pwede. So, it's Parang the same medyo. thing with dogs. Yeah. I like what you said, Rika. A while ago, nagpapaalam ka muna. Before mo, mm-hmm. ipet yung isang aso, that's right. That is, yes. that is right. And for all those who are listening to us right now, ganun po yung gawin natin. Magpaalam muna if you know, may nakita kayo, naglalakit kayo sa park, may nakita kayo, ano, uh, dog na cute, bigla nyo yung ipipet, yun pala nangangaga. Yun pala, hindi pa makunado. Ayun pala, ano, you know, fractious siya, madali siyang ma, ma, ano, ma, magalit. No? So, <laughs> prevention is always better than cure. No? So, kung, uh, paalam muna kung, kung pwede, baka mami, ay, o kaya ayaw na may-ari. Like, di mas yeah. pwede, Kasi nga, hindi naman niya kakilala. Eh, yung mga, galing yung mga puppies ko pala, galing sa farm. O kaya, veterinary ako, nagagabot ako ng mga sakit. <laughs> yung naghugas ng kamay. No? So, <laughs> tama yun. So, magpapaalam po tayo na sa sign of respect. And also, uh, you know, as prevention also, sa mga both sa dogs and for us. Yeah. That is true. Okay, so maybe a few more questions from our team, from Anne. I love playing with my dog, pero at times, masakit siya mga gat. So, sakali ba makagat ako ng dog ko, magkasugat, kailangan ba agad magpaturok ng anti-rabies? So, part nito will be answered by me, and another part will be answered by dog uh, NB. So, for sa dog naman, unang-una, bakit, bakit halimbawa, I'm sure you're afraid about uh, you're asking about rabies. No? So, mga ngagat lang ang isang aso or magkakaroon lang ng rabies ang isang aso kapag nakagat siya ng isang rabid na dog uh, o kaya isang dog of unknown or unknown history. Naglalakad sa daan, biglang kinagat yung aso mo, eh hindi mo alam kung saan yung galing yung aso na yun. So, that dog may be infected with rabies. So, only of these times na pwede magkaroon ng rabies yung aso mo. Hindi lang dogs ha, pati cats, bats, etc. O mamamans. So, kung kinagat ka ng aso mo, na alaga mo, na hindi naman nakakakita ng wala nang encounter with other dogs, I don't think may rabies yung aso mo. Especially kung nabakunahan na. No? Uh, so, the first thing you need to do is wash it with soap and water because napakadaling na-disintegrate ng rabies virus sa sabon at tubig. No? Hugasan mo lang yan. And kung wala pang bakuna ang aso mo, siguro the best is to have them vaccinated. No? At kung wala pa rin nga bakuna ang aso mo, 
ikaw din magpabakuna na. No. Ayun, ipapasok ko na ngayon kay Doc Andy. Yeah. So, yes. Kasi I agree. Na, pantao na 'yan eh. Sige. I agree with Doc Ferds, no. So kasi I always tell you my patients kapag sila nakagat ng aso, yes, they should have yung bakuna, yung anti-rabies vaccine. But before that, kasi syempre ayaw mo yung tinatawag na ano eh, uh, pag nakagat ka na, then tsaka mo gagawin ng paraan. I always advise them, if you are an owner of a pet no, or isa kang poret, I would advise them that they should have their tinatawag nilang pre-exposure na prophylaxis for at least no, if they have been beaten, nakagat sila. Irregardless ganong kalubha, ganong kalalim, dumugo ba siya, na-avulse ba, natuklap, or natanggal yung buong skin, or even sa face, sa neck, if they have a complete set of yung tinatawag natin pre-exposure prophylaxis, ibig sabihin, nagpabakuna na sila before, even sila nakagat. Pag completed na yon, mas maganda yan kasi they can get away from having the immunoglobulin shots. Okay? So mas makakatipid sila. And remember, nabanggit ko kanina in the discussion, rabies is a vaccine-preventable na disease. Because ang rabies, kapag nahawa tayo at hindi tayo nagpabakuna, Okay? Then we will surely die of that because hindi siya nakitreat, hindi siya nakikure. Same with the dogs, no? I think si Doc Ferds would agree with me on this one. The dogs kasi, parang sila yung ano eh, mas bida sila on the initial part. You are beaten by this dog because this dog is showing signs of aggression. No? Meron kang unprovoked bite. So sila, baka pwedeng meron na silang rabies infection at that point in time. So sila yung bida at that time. So, Papansinin mo sila if those bites are unprovoked. Tapos yung dog talaga showing signs and symptoms of rabies. Medyo ano sila very aggressive, okay? Ruthless aggression ang tawag natin kumbaga. So we should already have uh, information at the back of our mind na nako mukhang kailangan natin magpabakuna. So to answer the question nung viewers natin kanina, kailangan ko ba magpabakuna? The answer is yes. You ask yourself, nagpabakuna ba ako before? Kung never pa ako nagpabakuna, yes, you should have your post-exposure prophylaxis na series kapag ikaw ay nakagat ng aso. Pag hindi ka pa nakakagat and you think you might have a risk kasi meron kang alagang pets sa bahay, especially mga cats, mga dogs, then you should usually consider na magpabakuna as a pre-exposure prophylaxis. And then lastly, kapag ano naman, no, ang tanong ko naman sa ibang patient, yung dog na kumagat sa inyo, di ba aso ninyo yan? So mababantayan mo siya. So you have to observe your dogs also, give them TLC, tender loving care, because during that observation period, you will monitor for possible signs and symptoms of rabies then. And lastly, tatanungin ko din, yung dogs nyo ba nabakunahan? Because if the dogs would have a complete set of vaccination within a year, okay, tapos... Hindi pa siya, tapos nakagat siya. Hindi pa naglaps yung vaccination schedule niya. I think Doc Ferdy would uh, agree with me with this on this one. Uh, one year yung pinapabigay namin leeway. Because after one year, we will tell our patients na uh, um, past the yung one year na duration or yung validity of the vaccination of the dog. So if beyond that, by 100% means you should have yourself vaccinated. Because the dog is already considered unvaccinated na. Tama ba? Mm. All the veterinarians fight kay Dr. Ferds. Yes, year. yes, that's right. So that the yearly dapat ang bakuna natin yes. sa ating mga aso. No? So, by law, yung mga sa Amerika, sa ibang bansa, sa UK and Canada, na meron na yung mga every three years. We do not have that kind of vaccine for dogs and cats in the Philippines yet. What we do have is yung annual, every year. So, by law, dapat po ninyong pabakunahan ng inyong mga aso at pusa against rabies. Kalimutan nyo na yung ibang mga bakuna, which are equally important, by the way. Uh, but, yung rabies kasi, ang rabies ang zoono, may zoonotic importance. Ibig sabihin, pwede pong makahawa sa tao at sa tao sa hayo. No? Pwede mag, magpalitan ng infection. No? And, uh, yun. And rabies is a death sentence. Once you get it, goodbye. You laugh. Uh, so, yeah. Very I remember easy. we watched a video about it. Medyo yeah. traumatic siya. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's very easy to prevent but difficult to eradicate and cannot be treated. 
Yes, especially if we've seen yung mga few months dati, yung mga nakikita ko mga in the hospital, those few months admitted na may rabies infection, it's a total death sentence. Mm-hmm. Uh, the longest mm-hmm. that I've seen, di yan tatagal mga 12 hours or even one tour of duty mm-hmm. the next day. Hindi na namin na na-endorse and next na mag-duty oh kasi God. namamatay na sila agad. Yet, oh you, they're helpless. Wala kang magagawa. And those few months, believe me or not, they're going to sh- show you signs and symptoms of a dog with rabies. Talagang they bump their head, nag head banging. Nagkakaroon metallic mm-hmm. pads sa loob ng, ano, ng, ng room ng patient. And kawawa then because the rooms, uh, well, they have to be padlocked inside the room. Uh-uh. You cannot even insert yung suero. So kawawa talaga. No companions, no relatives. Doc Andy, so kapag nag, ano ka, nag-anti-rabies ka, does that ano? last for how many years ah okay so i think i like that question because <laughs> if you're a veterinarian or if you are someone who works in close environment with ma animals like for example ranger ka or talagang nagwo-work ka sa laboratory handling ma rabid cases then you should have your titer done okay mm-hmm. kaya lang for those people na hindi naman go work in infectious disease na environment hindi naman pet owners hindi veterinarians hindi rangers just anybody it is not mandatory for us to get yung titer na tinatawag kasi yung titer yan yung i-check mo yung blood if it is 0.5 and above medyo okay ka pa pag below that medyo you should have your booster shot but we do not recommend it. And we also do not recommend yung frequent booster shots. Wala kang exposure. Kunyari, dati, nakakomplete na ako ng pre-exposure vaccination. In fact, hindi na ako nagpapabooster kasi hindi naman ako nakakagat, hindi naman ako na scratch. Then, should I get additional booster shots? The answer is actually no for humans. Why? Because sometimes, if you get too much of those booster shots, it can dampen. Meron tinatawag na negative feedback effect. Kumbaga, napapatulog niya, okay, yung immune cells natin. Kumbaga, uh, hindi siya ganun ka-robust once there is a need for the body to produce an immune response kapag nakagat ka. So, booster shots not recommended is except for those working in close proximity or dun sa mga environment where it would be a very, very high risk for them. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you, Doc Andy. Now, we have another question for Miss Bernie naman. So, Miss Bernie, naging helpful ba yung pagkakaroon ng dog when you your husband died? I'm a long-time oh. fan, and I'm just curious. Ah, uh, Okay, medyo matagal na yun. My husband died like seven years ago, and it's true. Nakatulong talaga na Sparkles was with me. Sparkles was a Jack Russell Terrier, and uh, siya yung favorite ng husband ko. So, uh, whenever I come back home, nag-aabang siya, kasunod yung husband ko usually, di ba? And because of that, na, na-help ako to get through it because dinatabihan niya ako sa bed. Parang feeling ko siya lang yung nakakaintindi sa akin during that time of my loss. So, nakatulong talaga and ayan na yun ako na, basta yun, nakatulong siya, period. <laughs> <laughs> talaga, so, ano, yeah. sabi niyo nga kanina, di ba? Mahaba talaga yung listahan of reasons yeah. why you should be a parent. So, thank you, Miss Bernie, for answering that question. And I think that's it for our Q&A. I know you have a lot more questions, but uh, don't worry, you guys. Magkakaroon pa tayo ng episode 3, episode 4. Di ba? Marami pa yan, di ba? Guys, so um, just uh, join us again next time, okay? And thank you for all of your questions and thank you for your active participation. Salamat sa mga nagtanong, sa mga tumutok from the start and I'm so happy ang daming nagtanong na kinulang na tayo sa time. But in case you guys missed something, you may go back and rewatch this episode, How to Start a Pomely Hashtag for Real and pwede nyo siya balik-balikan and you can even screenshot the important details and information, okay? Don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook and on Instagram and visit our official website www.sanmiguelpetcare.com and now here is Miss Bernie to give her final tips and message. Yeah, to everyone who is uh, viewing us right now, I just wanted to say that it's worth it to become a parent or have to have a dog. Uh, masaya siya, basta ready tayo. In our readiness, magkakapagbigay tayo ng mabuting buhay para sa kanila. That's it. 
Thank you, Miss Bernie. Talagang totoo Thank yan. Diba? Kailangan ready tayo. Kung dapat ready tayo magmahal ng ibang tao, dapat ready din tayo magmahal uh-huh. yeah. ng ating fur babies. Am I right? <laughs> Now, no. um, let's have <laughs> Doc Andy's takeaways or key points. Okay. Hi, so Doc Andy Tan here. So thank you for listening in this session of the Facebook Live. So I hope you learned something from the discussion and the Q&A, especially that we've been discussing about rabies. No? So for the fur babies, at least some parents, make sure updated you updated your vaccinations. And of course, it's almost, almost, I hope, the end of the pandemic. It has been two years. Cases are really going nadir, very, very low. But we should not forget to always practice hand hygiene. The cleaning and disinfection that the monkey noted earlier, and of course, wear a mask and always stay safe. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Doc Andy, who, by the way, is a physician. I think nasabi ko kanina veterinarian. Okay. Ah, yeah. okay. Kailangan ano? Kailangan kasi holistic yung ating guests for today. So may vet tayo, meron tayong doctor na physician. You know, for humans, we have Miss Bernie, and then yon yun yung bumubu ng ating circle. Okay. So um, there we have it. Um, it's uh, been a pleasure. Um, you know, learning from you. Now let's have Doc Ferds. Yes, so madaling. Nowadays kasi ang dali nating ma, ma-entice, magalaga ng aso. We saw a lot of, uh, we see a lot of personalities with dogs, tsaka yung sa, sa Instagram, sa Facebook. Parang yung, nada, ang bilis madala ng damdami, padala sa damdami na, yun ako na by that kind of dog. Tomorrow, especially if you have the means, no? So, without actually, you know, reflecting kung meron ka nga bang oras, panahon, at, you know, are you, is everyone in the house ready? So, hindi lang, ang sinasabi ko sa mga, sa mga clients ko, you know, sometimes the purchasing of the dog, if you're going to purchase them, is the cheapest. Ayun na yung pinakamura. Kasi, doon magsisimula yung gastos mo. Bili ka ng dog food regularly, medicine, yung panahon, papagroom mo sila, yung vitamins nila, yung tick and flea preventive vaccines every year. And dog's lifespan, hanggang 15 years, sometimes even more. No, So it's it's a long-term relationship with with the, the, our furry friends. Our, our, our Being a fur, foreign is a long-term uh, responsibility. So kailangan maging handa tayo. Sinabi ni Shinair sa inyo ni Miss Bernie yung benefits ng of owning a, of owning a pet. Those are very true, no? Si Doc Andy sinabi sa hinanda kayo kung paano uh, tayo dapat maging aware sa mga infectious agents in their environment that can affect us and our fur babies that's true. And I mentioned earlier kung paano kayo magiging handa. So all this kung nakinig tayo You can go back to the lectures again, once again, uh, later on, so that you will be prepared to have a homily soon. So if you are, if you tick all those boxes that we mentioned earlier, maybe you are ready. So visit your, your mga pounds natin. So many dogs out there that's yearning for a family, for, you know, for loving arms. Baka yun na yung sa inyo naghihintay. So please come and visit them. And, uh, you know, check them out and see if, No, one of them is ready for you. Thank you, Doc Ferds. And thank you to all of our speakers, Miss Bernie, Doc Andy, and Doc Ferds. And that's a wrap, you guys. I can't wait. As much as I love talking to everybody, to all of you, I also cannot wait to play with my dog after this. <laughs> after talking about having, you know, fur babies. So thank you guys and to all the parents who participated and joined uh, us today. And thank you. Uh, once again, I am Rico Garcia. I will. I am your host for today and I will be your host uh, until our next hashtag Pomaly Planning episode. Only here at Nutri Chunks. Pomaly, enjoy your weekend and happy parenting. Stay healthy, safe, and protected. Thank you, guys. Bye.